Let's talk a little bit about First Blood as well. I feel like that's almost, it's similar in that there's a central character who is not on the surface necessarily sympathetic, but you find that kind of root. Um, how did you kind of get into that project and did you expect it to be such a math, uh, mammoth hit that it was? Well, you know, all, practically all my pictures, just, you know, have been, people have given me books, you know, and uh, that book, I always say to people, did you know that First Blood was a Canadian film? People say, what are you talking about? Of course, it's an American film. I said, no, listen, it was based on a Canadian book written by Philip Morel. I had no First idea. Blood. Yeah. Wow. It's a book about, that's where I got the idea for the film. And then I said, and of course, the director is a Canadian. <laughs> and it was shot in British Columbia, in Hope, British Columbia. Wow. So I said, it's a Canadian film. <laughs> and <clears throat> but uh, it was the, um, the Vietnam veterans really suffered horribly when they returned to this country. Um, the right wing described them as a bunch of losers, wow. and the left wing described them as a bunch of women and baby killers. And the, so what, ha what happened was that, um, and, and Rambo, Rambo um, he's, he faces, when he faces the, the, the police, that policeman and deputies in that, in that town, um, they're, it's like an emblematic of, of what, what, how the Vietnam veterans were treated. And they were treated horribly. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they absolutely treated them appallingly. And all previous, previous uh, veterans returned World War II. They came back and they were greeted by bands, de, 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 yeah. de, you know, and uh, ice cream trucks and well, welcome home. They were, they were made heroes. I mean, Vietnam veterans were treated very badly. They're reviled, yeah. as I told you. As a result, and this is an unknown, not known by many of the statistics, every month when they came back, a thousand Vietnam veterans tried to commit suicide. Wow. One third of them were successful. Month after month after month, 300 to 350. Wow. Because they, they came back. They're, first of all, you know, war distorts you. you you, you, become a, you become a murderer, you're murdering people. Now you're coming back and you want to get back into civil, civilian society, but they wouldn't let them get back into civilian society. So finally, they turned the gun on themselves and committed suicide. And, and, and as you know, um, First Blood was originally conceived as a suicide mission. Wow. And um, the, the, uh, at the very end, when Rambo uh, is surrounded in the police station, his his commanding colonel comes in, and um, and Rambo says to him, "You created me. Now you kill me. I know you have a gun underneath your desk, uh, under in, in your behind your jacket." And then and then and then the commanding officer pulls out the gun, but he can't shoot him. Yeah. And but but Rambo goes, <laughs> he blows himself away. That was the original ending. And why did you end up changing that? Well, part of it was uh, part of it came out of the from both instigation of Sylvester Stallone yeah. and part of my own instigation. What what he because what happened was he did it and he did it brilliantly. The whole lead up to it justified that it was just horrible his treatment. And uh, <clears throat> so after he did it and blew himself away, he got up, said, "Ted, can I talk to you for a minute?" <laughs> he said, "Ted." We do horrible things to Rambo. He, he's maltreated by the police. They sick dogs after him. He jumps off cliffs and lands in trees and breaks ribs. I mean, it's just horrible. You, horrible things go on. And I said, he gets shot at one point. And he has to sew up the wound himself. Yeah. He said, and now we're going to kill him? He said, the audience is really going to hate, hate you, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> and they hate me. They really hate the film. <laughs> and then, and then, and... Um, However, so I said, I, have, I agree, because I feel, I said, uh, first of all, I said, they treat you like an enemy in, in this town. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you commit suicide, the enemy wins. Yeah. They're, we, can't, we can't let them win. Yeah. So I said, so I said, I'm going to, I know exactly how to do it. I'm gonna, right, right, on this, right on that moment when, when Sylvester and I were talking, I said, I know exactly how to do it. I'm going to have a crane shot. And you're going to, you, in fact, before he takes the gun out of, the, the commanding officer takes the gun out, you're going to come out of the, of the doorway of the police station, mm -hmm. and the, the camera's going to crane down with you, and then you look over to the right, and you're going to pan left, and there's an ambulance there with the sheriff whom you shot, but he's not dead. And it comes back to you, and you're very relieved that you didn't kill him. 
and it comes down and then, then you face the whole town is lined up on the street and you walk down to it to a Jeep and you drive off. Yeah. And that's of course, what, that's it's of a course, much more optimistic, that's, right? And, and that's what, what happened when you like, you like this, Justine. Yeah. Uh, the, the, um, the, there was, there was they had a terrible fight because the producer said, we conceived of this as a, as a, a, a suicide mission, Ted. And you're over budget, over schedule. I'm not going to, I says, get out of here. I'm going to shoot this anyway. <laughs> And, 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 the, and I said, and I mean, in the future, I know it's going to happen. You're going to have to get a, an American uh, distributor, and he's going to demand a happy ending. Yeah. And then two months from now, we're going to have to come back here with a full crew and, and, and reshoot the ending. I'm, yeah, and you're, you're going to be kissing my bum. <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, so, and what happened was, of course, oh, my prophetic soul, that when um, the, the head of uh, Ryan Film... Um, a chum of mine. He um, he said, "I love this film. It's great, but uh, it's got to have a happy ending. You can't have the, uh, Rambo killing himself." And they said, "And they and the, the two producers, I know, were very adamant, insistent. No, no, it's a. It was always conceived of as a suicide mission. It's a suicide mission." And finally, they they decided to have a test screening of 300 people and find out how they react. And so there was a screening, and you loved it, Justine. The audience loved the film. Yeah. They were yelling out, look out, Rambo! The sheriff is right behind you, look out! People were yelling at the screen. <laughs> they were really with, with him all the way through yeah. the whole film. And then he commits suicide. You could have heard a pin drop in the silence. Wow. And a voice cried out from the audience, if the director of this film is sitting in this audience, Let's string him up from the nearest lamppost for killing Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I said to my wife, get, let's get the hell out of here before they, <laughs> before they, they hang me. <laughs> and we went out, and then they, they, then they collected all the cards. And of course, the, the cards were all the same. This is the best action film I've ever seen. But you, why do you, do you have to kill Rambo? How can you kill Rambo? All the same things. Yeah. And finally, the, the two producers looked at me with great consternation. I said, don't worry, boys. In my back pocket, I happen to have this other ending. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I you knew, shot. right? And that's the ending. It's in the film. That's amazing. Thank yeah. you again, Ted Kacha, for oh, being please. on the show. It was absolutely a pleasure. We're so happy to have you here at Fantasia. Oh, I'm, and I'm happy to talk to you. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, be sure to tune in for more. We have lots of other great guests on Fantasia The Talk Show. I love crowds, I love pleasing crowds, and they all seem to enjoy the film tremendously, so I'm very, very happy.